How's it going, everybody? This is Ableton Certified Trainer Afro DJ Mac, and I want to talk to you today about how you can create your own unique sound by sampling and making your own custom instruments. I'm going to be sharing the project files with you via Splice, which is a cloud sharing platform that will automatically back up your DAW files. Um, you can keep those files private, or you can make them public so you can share and collaborate with others. One of the reasons it can be hard to develop your own sound is because you're using the same presets and plugins and devices as everyone else. We all have the same devices inside of Live. We have the same VSTs, the same presets. Um, a lot of the samples have been recorded in these perfectly um, acoustically sound studios to the point of almost being sterile. There's like no character sometimes to the recordings. Um, so what we can do to fight that is use what we have around us and that is our own environment. Um, make use of the sounds around you. Um, I have this old piano in my house. It's about 100 years old. It's a bit out of tune. Um, and it, it could use some work, but it's got a lot of character to it. And what I did is I've got some samples here of it that I recorded. And one thing you're going to notice if you listen closely is, and we'll hear it especially over here, I left the TV on in the background. So in the background of these samples, you're going to hear the television set going, adding this extra noise, and this is going to start to do some interesting things when we make our own instruments from it. So I've got this, I recorded another round with maybe just a little less TV noise, but it's still there. And I've also just got some sounds of the actual piano itself, um, closing the case, shutting the keys down, and just letting us use this stuff which I'll turn into some percussion instruments and these will be sounds that again no one else is going to have no one's going to have the same piano sound the same exact sample with the same exact television show going on in the background and by making instruments with this it'll create a unique sound okay so I've taken this piano sample and isolated each individual note into a clip in the session view I'd like to work this way and I'm going to put these individually into the sampler instrument now, the best way, I think, to get around Live's browser is to hit Command-F or Control-F on a PC. It opens up the search function. I'm just going to write in Sampler, and it comes up immediately. I'll just hit the down arrow and hit Enter. And now I've got a new track with a sampler on it. So I'm going to take these five notes here, and I'm going to drag them right into our sampler, which is, we've got our different samples here. And now what I need to do is set the root notes for each of these different keys. So we can do this in two ways. We can move this little R that says root over here by just putting it, putting the little cursor where we need it and holding Alt and that will move them. Now I just moved them all at once, so I'm going to deselect them all. And I know that my next note was an octave higher at C. And then my next note again was another octave higher and then another octave higher, and again, one more octave higher. So now I've got my notes placed, and we can just double check that we put these in the right spot by looking at the root key down here on the sampler. And it looks pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do, this is the key range. Um, right now, if I hit one note, in my sampler, um, it's quite loud because every single sample is playing at once. So I need to reduce this down to what I'm going to use. So I'm going to bring this all the way down to the B. Let's get that right on the B here. And then I'm going to drag this one to start on C. And I'm going to keep doing this, start on C. And now what I'm doing is limiting the range of notes in which each sample will play back. And I'm going to tighten it up on this end. So this should end at B, as should the next two that I'm adjusting. So now we're only getting one sample per key that I play. So before I had mentioned that my piano is not in tune. So um, I need to deal with that. And uh, my favorite way to deal with that now that Live 9.2 is in beta, it's got the new tuner device. So I'm going to drop the tuner right here and I can play a note. Right now I'm playing this particular sample. You can see it's showing there. And I can see I'm a little bit flat. I'm at about uh, negative 40 hertz or so. So what I can do is just tune this up to positive 40 cents, excuse me. And now I'm right in tune. 
and I can do this for all the other notes as well. In case you don't have the tuner device, what we can do, and this is sort of the old fashioned way if you ask me, is I'll set up an operator instrument and I will put on a clip that's playing back a C and I'll just draw one long MIDI note, play this. I'm gonna stop that clip right here. And I'm gonna play a note on my keyboard. You can see it's a little flat, we can kinda of hear that. And I can just tune this up until it matches the note from the operator. And I'll do that the next octave as well. We can hear there's a little clash. And you can see by the tuner, as a visual form we get in tune, I'll do it one more time. Now we've got our piano that's nicely in tune. And you can start to hear our instrument too, with all those nice vocal samples in the background. Pretty cool. So stay tuned for next round in which we will go over some ways we can make this instrument even more exciting, adding effects and various tweaks to the sampler instrument.